The San Diego Museum of Art is so fortunate to own the earliest surviving example of the Hindu god Shiva in his form as the Lord of Music. Even within India, the other earliest known examples date to the 8th century, but this one dates to the 6th. It probably graced the south wall of a Hindu temple, along with other mother goddesses, probably numbering eight in total, and he holds a vena which identifies him in his form as Lord of Music. After the fifth century, Shiva emerged as one of the three main gods of Hinduism. Along with Vishnu and the goddess Devi, Shiva is propitiated by many, many residents of India, believers in Hinduism, as being the ultimate creator god, the god who generated all of the universe. Um, as such, he manifests himself in various forms within the world, and as Lord of Music is one of his most benign forms. He's shown here with four arms, which reveal his superhuman power. These two hold the musical instrument, the veena, and it's associated with his, uh, uh, with his generation of knowledge of the truth of the universe. And his upper arms hold um, elements that show his more uh, fearsome side that have to do with destruction and conquering of evil. Uh, for example, he holds a serpent in his upraised left hand and then a trident in his upraised right. These are two um, iconographic elements that are frequently associated with depictions of the Hindu god Shiva. He is also associated with being an ascetic or a yogi and participates in yogic meditations which increase his powers and those of his followers. And so his hair, which is arranged on the crown of his head um, like a crown itself, is actually comprised of matted dreadlocks because ascetics spend so much time in meditation um, that their hair grows matted together. But it's arranged in almost a royal fashion uh, with festoons and jewels and even the crescent moon. Uh, nestled in the locks themselves. Behind his head, um, kind of serving as a plain backdrop uh, for the, um, the highly detailed headdress, is a halo that indicates also his divinity. The simplicity of the jewels and the contours of the body are part of the late Gupta classical style of Indian sculpture um, that also helps solidify the date of the sculpture into the early 6th century. It was produced in a region of western India um, called Gujarat, which does not have so many examples of, these, uh, of this form of Shiva. More often later on, Shiva is known better in the south. He has a downcast gaze indicating his meditations and introspection, um, and yet he smiles, um, showing his benign and benevolent nature.